Are you sorry for the hurt that your post caused people? I take my responsibility for posting that. I didn't mean to cause any harm. I'm not the one that made the documentary. I think uh, some of the criticism of the Jewish faith in the community, for sure. Some points made in there that were uh, unfortunate. Again, I'll repeat it for posting something on my Instagram or Twitter that may have had some unfortunate falsehoods in it. It's not that I don't believe in the Holocaust. I never said that. Never ever have said it. It's not come out of my mouth. I never tweeted it. I never liked anything like it. So, just please keep that same energy when you guys are addressing me. Kyrie, for the record, do you have any anti-Semitic beliefs? Again, I'm going to repeat. I don't know how the label becomes justified because you guys ask me the same questions over and over again, but this is not going to turn into a, a spin around cycle of questions upon questions. I told you guys how I felt. I respect all walks of life and embrace all walks of life. That's where I sit. Kyrie Irving has been falsely labeled anti-Semitic by the media. And not only that, he's been sent on this scavenger hunt to prove that he's not anti-Semitic before he can return to basketball. He was suspended five games, and even the NBA PA has started to take notice. Jalen Brown have said enough is enough and decided to appeal the suspension. We can debate whether or not Kyrie sharing that documentary was a smart decision, but it doesn't make him a bad person and it doesn't make him anti-Semitic. I'm going to show a clip from Candace Owens. She explains it perfectly. I know some of you guys aren't a fan of hers, but just listen to what she has to say about Kyrie Irving. It's important. It's important to underscore, first and foremost, the absurdity of the media, the way that they are behaving in that press conference. They are essentially approaching him, pretending that every single word of the documentary that Kyrie Irving did not make, he has to answer for. Could you imagine a world in which everything you watch, right, you are somehow now responsible for every single word within it? Notably absent, by the way, is the press going up to Jeff Bezos, who is the owner of Amazon, who runs Amazon, and saying, hey, why did you allow this documentary to be on Amazon? There are, there's no outcry. There's no, everybody delete your Amazon accounts because of this documentary. They are putting this firmly and squarely on Kyrie Irving, which is problematic in the first place. I want to also make it clear that in listening to his words, it is pointedly ridiculous that they would say that he is unfit to be associated with. There was nothing that he said, but I would say that he is unfit to be associated with because he very clearly condemns the falsities in the movie. He says, I do not think this way. He actually calls them falsehoods that are unfortunate, right? He says that that is not what I said. Do not attribute every word in this documentary to what my beliefs are. He also very clearly stipulates to them when they ask him, are you anti-Semitic? He clarifies that he's not anti-Semitic. Now, why is Kyrie Irving saying that? Why is he saying, I can't be anti-Semitic? That he hails from maybe Africa or from Asia, which is what the documentary explores. I'm going to give you my feedback because obviously I watched the documentary after listening to this, right? His feedback is, do not make the word Semitic just about Jewish people in America. It includes a lot of other people, okay? Now, you might disagree with that. You might disagree with the Oxford Dictionary definition, but you can't be mad at him for stating the actual Oxford Dictionary definition. The last thing that I want to say here, uh, just regarding his press conference, and I, I want to say this really from the heart, because there was so much pressure that was put upon me to condemn Kyrie Irving, right? To condemn Kyrie Irving based on this press conference, to basically decide that his pain is irrelevant. When I watched this press conference, I felt Kyrie's pain. I felt his pain, and I will say this emotionally and not rationally, as a black person. People don't often think about how bizarre it is that we don't know where we come from, right? We don't know. If you ask the majority of white people, they'll say, oh, my family's from Scotland. My husband's family can go back so many generations and talk about where they're from in England. And when you talk to most people, they have this sort of cultural understanding of their history. We don't. It's a weird feeling. You do sort of feel out of place. And yes, of course, it's because of the slave trade. And I'm not throwing that on anybody. I'm not saying that it's somebody else's fault. But what Kyrie Irving says is that you can't pit atrocity against another atrocity and basically say that his pain doesn't matter, that his 
noble pursuit of wanting to know where he came from, even if he landed on the wrong conclusions, is something that he is valid in feeling. It's a journey that he is valid in wanting to go on and wanting to partake in. So no, I'm not going to turn my back on Kyrie Irving and pretend that he's an awful human being based on this press conference. It's wrong. There are a lot of people that feel that they are in pain from the Jewish community because they're upset that he shared this link. But also, if you're not paying attention, there are a lot of black Americans that are telling you that they feel that they're in pain because you're telling them that they're not allowed to feel the way they feel about not, about not understanding their roots. I can't blame anybody for being upset at LeBron James, Shaq, Charles Barkley, Shannon Sharp, and many others. They had no background information, they hadn't seen the documentary, and they have no clue what Kyrie's personal views are, but they chose to attack him. Shaq and Chuck called him an idiot when Shaq played that movie in his own movie theater. And then we have the moral police, Nike, who decided to drop Kyrie Irving's sneaker deal. Yes, the company with modern day slaves wants to tell Kyrie what he can and can't post because it's too hateful. I guarantee you not one person that criticized Kyrie even saw the documentary or knew what it was about. They jumped on the bandwagon because they were scared of the media. They were scared of facing backlash, so they threw Kyrie under the bus without any knowledge of the situation. It's their fault. The documentary now has more attention than ever before. The media has gotten more power than ever before because nothing Kyrie said was good enough. He apologized. He said he wasn't anti-Semitic. He said he didn't agree with everything in the documentary, but it didn't matter. They still made him go on a scavenger hunt. They still suspended him for five games. This has gotten out of control. The media has way too much power. And if you don't bow down to them, they will try to ruin your entire life. They will try to control everything you do. The media doesn't care if Kyrie's anti-Semitic or not. They're just trying to break him because he doesn't surrender to them. He doesn't give them what they want. He's his own person. So they create a false narrative to try to tear down everything he's ever done. They don't care about his actual values, his beliefs, or what he does. But as always, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Kyrie Irving situation. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.